everyone welcome to jg chemistry class guys in today's video we will learn the reduction using the borane reagents we call it hydroboration and certain reagents you can notice here using bsv in the presence of h2o2 oh minus in the presence of acetic acid and we will see also here the stereo selective reduction using alpine borane you can find here previous years of solved msc questions along with the mechanism regio selectivity and stereo selectivity this hydroboration reduction reaction is very important not only for msc chemistry but you can find many questions in csir net and gate so we will also see the tricks to solve such problems when you have in competitive exams so let's see hydroboration what is hydroboration hydroboration is the addition of hydrogen and boron to the cc cn or co unsaturated bond or double bond as well as you can see the addition of hydrogen boron on the triple bond so basically the addition of hydrogen and boron on the unsaturation you will see and we will find here hydroboration followed by oxidation reaction which is a two step reaction here which converts alkene into alcohol so whenever you have these two reagents together hydroboration followed by the oxidation in the presence of hydrogen peroxide then your unsaturated alkene or yeah your unsaturated alkene will convert into alcohol we will see Uh, what happens with alkynes and what happens with the carbonyl compound so first we will take the example here where you have terminal alkene as a reactant and the reagent is given here bh3 thf bh3 uh, boron reagent we know it has three hydrogen and the octet of this boron is incomplete so it acts as a lewis acceptor or lewis acid electron acceptor and it normally form found in the form of either bh3 thf or b2h6 we will see that structure also later on so here we will see what happens when you have alkene in the presence of bh3 so here the hydrogen of your bh2 will add to the double bond and boron also will add like you can see here if you open the structure of bh3 like you can write hbh2 then hydrogen addition of hydrogen and bh2 to the double bond takes place now the question is where does the hydrogen will add and where the bh2 will add so it follows markovnikov rule which says the hydrogen will add to the more substituted carbon and more substituted carbon is the one where we have two methyl groups so the hydrogen will add to the more substituted hydrogen bh2 being like bulky here will add to the terminal carbon and so you can show the addition of the hydrogen and bh2 to the double bond then followed by the hydrogen peroxide in the presence of naoh here you can see bh2 which was added to the double bond will convert after using this oxidizing agent into oh we'll see how with the mechanism so basically the first step we can see you have unsaturated alkene and bh3 addition will takes place we know on the double bond the hydrogen will add to the uh, carbon which is more substituted you can see here and the bh2 will add on the other side you can see boron is slightly electropositive being deficient and hydrogen will get negative charge which will add to the electropositive carbon so wherever like whenever you this break this double bond it will generate one positive charge on one side uh, and the negative charge on the other carbon and we know the positive charge will be generated uh, where you have more stable carbocation here you have tertiary carbocation so the del positive you will get on the tertiary carbocation here and the negative on the other side and so you can show the addition of del positive del negative and thus it forms the four member transition state and you can see the addition is taking place syn addition from the same side syn addition means from the same side the addition will takes place and so the addition is regio selective reaction regio selective means you have a specific site for the reagent to add 
okay like bh2 is adding always to the site where you have less steric hindrance or you can say hydrogen is adding to the site where it is more substituted so regio selective means region selective so you have this intermediate which you can show here the addition is taking place in the same side in plane here now if you have axis of this uh, starting material then the two other hydrogen of the boron will also replaced with the organic part and so it will form the uh, the uh, borane organoborane organoborane as a uh, you can say product if you don't have the the oxidizing agent here okay so organoborane that we will see further in the mechanism so here you have to note that the alkene will convert so this is the trick when you have the same question in the question paper and you have to solve without showing the mechanism so if the alkene are present and in the presence of bhch 2 o 2 and naoh you can find out and solve the product is going to be alcohol so basically alkenes can be converted into alcohols in the presence of bhch 3 and h2 o 2 so we'll continue with the mechanism the next step is once you form this uh, hydroboration reaction then you have the second reagent that is NaOH H2O2 so what happens here the BH2 is basically is going to replace with the OH group here followed by you can see here formation of HOBH2 and NaOH release how this is happening that we will see but first point you have to see whatever is to your chemistry you have written here uh, for the uh, starting material, the same stereochemistry will be retained, means you will not change the stereochemistry here. So, basically, this is the key step that the OH go goes exactly where the boron was present without changing the stereochemistry. And so, we can say the reaction is stereoselective reaction. So, hydroboration is in the presence of borane, you can see it is ritual selective and stereoselective reaction. So, how we can see the mechanism? First, NaOH and this uh, H2O2 will react with each other. Na will get a, a, has a positive charge, OH is negative. So, this Na positive will take a proton from this and generate OH minus, which will be taking uh, and stabilize with Na plus. So, you can just see. Here, exchange of ions will take place and it will form water and NaOH, which is your active reagent. And now it will attack on the, uh, the starting material, which is like boron, hydroborane, where we know borane uh, act as a Lewis acid, means electron acceptor, because it has a vacant p orbital. So it will take the electron from this uh, negative charge you can say negative oxygen species and form a bond with it and get a negative charge here which is stabilized by Na plus and now this O bond which is present here uh, will uh, give you and give this uh, molecule energy to break this bond and here OH minus will be released followed by O negative which is this carbon CB bond will give its electron to this and you can find the formation of OBH2. Here NaOH will form here. You can notice. So this OH minus again will give its electron to the boron followed by the negative charge of giving the electron to this oxygen. So now oxygen will get a negative charge which is stabilized by Na plus. With the release of HOBH2, you can also say S3BO here. So, alkoxide removes a proton from the water which you are having here to generate the neutral alcohol. Since the water was formed here, so this alkoxide will abstract this proton and will form the alcohol. So, this is how you can show the mechanism, how this mechanism is uh, taking place where the BH2 is converting into OH without changing the stereochemistry. We'll see some more reactions quickly. Uh, mechanisms uh, we have seen already. So alkyne you are having, which is a terminal alkyne here, same reagent and we know whenever it is there, BH3 reagent, it will add to the unsaturated 
double bond or triple bond following the Markovnikov rule. So hydrogen will add to the carbon which is substituted here and so you can say H will add here and followed by syn addition will take place followed by the oxidizing agent which will convert the BH2 into OH and since it is enol it will be tautomerization you can see here and convert into aldehyde here. So basically the terminal alkynes converted into aldehydes here. If you can see the alkene in the presence of BH3 THF you know what to do here addition of this BH3 to the double bond followed by the Markovnikov rule. More substituted carbon will be added hydrogen the other is BH2. So here I have written Br2 because uh, we know that if you have excess of the starting material the other two hydrogen also will replace with this molecule and instead of writing this structure again and again we are replacing this structure with R here. You can see here the stereochemistry means addition of hydrogen and Br2 from the same plane. Here the addition took place in plane followed by the reagent as a deuterated acetic acid. So whenever you have deuterated acetic acid, you can replace the Br2 with here since it is deuterium is given with deuterium. We will see the mechanism in further reactions. And so your this alkene is converted into alkane in the presence of acetic acid. So the trick is whenever you have terminal alkyne in the presence of BS3H2O2, you can find out the product is aldehyde and whenever you have alkene in the presence of BS3 and acetic acid it will convert into alkanes. In the presence of H2O2 it was alcohol in the presence of acetic acid it is alkane. So this is the trick you can use for multiple choice question. Now few more questions these questions are from the Bangalore Central University previous years of question paper. So you have alkene you have B2H6 and acetic acid. B2S6 is nothing but the same borane, BS3, we call it diborane because another form where the BS3 exists is diborane. So you can write it is 2BH3, same way addition will take place to the double bond. The hydrogen will add to the more substituted carbon you can show and the boron will add to the less substituted. We know it is acting as a Lewis acid electron acceptor. So the octant of this boron is not completed. You can see here two electron from this uh, Br bond, two from the other Br and two from this B carbon. So total six carbons, uh, six electrons are there. Still uh, it requires two. So it is acting as an acceptor, electron acceptor. So we have here now CS3 C double O minus we can represent it like H plus so it has the excess of electrons. So this electron can be donated to the Lewis acid boron reagent in the MTP orbital. So it will react with the boron and will give a negative charge to it. And since it is having a negative charge it will give its electron to the neighboring carbon and will generate a carbon ion. And this carbon ion will take the proton since you have H plus here will form alkane and so this is a product when you have so you can see here alkene is converted into alkane when you have borane reagent in the presence of acetic acid. Next you can see you can pause your video this video and uh, you can see again and solve it and verify your answer you have alkene you have diborane acetic acid you should know the product is going to be alkane. So we know that it follows the uh, Markovnikov rule and syn addition takes place. It is regioselective. It is forming the organoborane which is in the excess of uh, propene. You can see all the uh, hydrogen replaced with the organic part and we can also represent it like this. It is having three carbons. So three carbon you can show it like in the chain form. You have acetic acid, boron being electron acceptor, except the electron will form a bond with it and get a negative charge. Same way it will give its electron and you form here the propane. So propane in the presence of borane and acetic acid converted into 
alkane. Now we will see the next reaction. You can see this reaction in the question paper, uh, previous year of uh, MSc question paper. You have here acetylenic carbonyl compound where the reagent is given alpine borane and H2O2H minus. They are asking you to form the product with a suitable mechanism. So first of all, you should know the structure of alpine borane. You can see the structure of alpine borane here. It is stereoselective. You can say it is having the particular stereochemistry. So it is chiral molecule. And so the molecule which is going to form here as a product will be stereoselective reaction or you can say enantioselective reaction. So here we will see the transition state. How does this addition takes place and where does the addition takes place? You have a carbonyl molecule here in the presence of acetylene so only the carbonyl is going to react and so we can say it is uh, the stereoselective reaction and uh, uh, you can show a formation of six member transition state and this is how the addition is taking place here and so after that loss of uh, this alpha pinene will take place and you have left with the intermediate which has a acetylene bond intact in the presence of H2O2H minus the oxygen borane will convert into oxidize into OH. So basically the acetylenic ketone is converted into acetylenic alcohol and that's the product of our reaction. So we can say it is a enantioselective selective reaction because we are forming here uh, one chiral center which is uh, one of the isomer you are forming here that depends on the stereochemistry of the alpine borane same stereochemistry you will get for the alcohol and so the trick is you can say that the acetylenic ketone in the presence of alpine borane and H2O2H minus will convert into acetylenic alcohols. So these tricks will help you without solving the mechanism for MCQ, you can just tick for the competitive exam. So I hope you understood the chemistry of borane reagents and how does this form the product mechanisms, its reduce selectivity and its stereoselectivity. All the best, see you in the next video.